Look at all that humidity collected after 8 hours of operation. Come, follow me on my journey towards a happier, healthier, and freer life. Subscribe to be notified on upcoming videos. Some of you may know I launched a collection of cold weather scarves, especially designed to comfort those with sensitive skin. So if you find scarves scratchy, check out freeandcat.com. This is the Black Danby 50 Pine Dehumidifier, which we bought a few months ago. The model number is in the description box. We've been using it daily for our 1,000 square feet space and it does a terrific job making us comfortable at home even when outside is very muggy. It's efficient IEF of 1.9. Let me show it to you. So you see the relative humidity of your space when you switch it on and you can set the target humidity that you want. We usually set it to 35% and that's the lowest. Once the dehumidifier reaches the target humidity, it will automatically shut off and will turn back on if it becomes humid again. If you don't want it to shut off automatically, you can press this continuous operation button. There are two fan settings, currently at normal and this is on high. There's also a timer to turn it on or off after a certain amount of time. When the water collection bucket is full, this dehumidifier will switch off by itself and it will beep a few times. It's not full right now, but let me show you the water collection bucket. So there's a handle here. In our experience, it is a little bit cumbersome to pour it into a sink, so we pour it into the bathtub. Our dehumidifier is on most of the time and we empty it about two to three times a day. What I like to do is before going to bed, I will empty the dehumidifier and by doing that, it reduces the likelihood of the bucket getting full when we're asleep. If you don't want the hassle of emptying the bucket, you have the option to attach a hose here and direct it into a floor drain. If the hose is not included, you have to buy it separately. Note that this model doesn't come with a pump. It uses gravity to drain the water. If you need to drain upward into a sink, you have to get the with pump model. This one wouldn't do it. Here's the filter. The air flows into the dehumidifier here and the dehumidified air comes out on this side. This filter has to be cleaned every two weeks and when it's time to be cleaned, the indicator light will light up. It's really easy to clean. Remove this air filter and vacuum it, then put it back. If you want, you can rinse with light soapy water and let it dry. One neat feature is this wire storage attachment. You can wrap the wire around it for tidy storage. Alright, hope this video gives you an idea of what to expect. We are very satisfied with this dehumidifier. Also, I've made a video on things to look out for when shopping for a dehumidifier. If you have not checked it out, the link is in the description box below. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Cheers.